everyone. This is Rohit Manoharan and welcome back to the Checkpoint Lab Training. For this video, we will be discussing something about compatibility of versions. Right? Compatib compatibility. B-I-L-I-T-Y. Sorry. Okay. And the next thing we will be talking about changing or resetting the SICK activation key. Okay. So, for the compatibility, let us take an example. Leave this topology. I will give you a fresh example. Okay. For compatibility, let me take another color and I will draw it here. Consider if you have a manager. Okay. And this manager is running a version of R80.20. You have an existing firewalls. You have two existing firewalls which are running uh, R75.0 and one is running R75.20. Okay, so it's firewall one and this is firewall two. So what I meant to say is if so you know how to add it's in the previous video, you can check it out. So you know how to add a fire firewall or gateway, or basically you can call it gateway, gateway one or gateway two. Yeah. So you know how to add it. So basically the compatibility issue, what I'm talking about is R80.20 will will never add R75.0. It will show you an error. So the first thing I will, it will show you an error. Okay. So the first thing to troubleshoot any gateway which is not adding to the manager is to check the compatibility. Okay. Okay, great. I lost the connection. It's okay. I will open it. It's okay. So what I'm trying to say is it will never uh, add this gateway to this manager because it has compatibility issue with this version. Okay. The next thing we will try to add is 75.0. And when we will try to add the 75.0, it will be a successful communication. That means uh, our R80.20 or R80.10 is compatible with R75.20, which means the, this version of uh, iOS or this version of Gaia can is compatible with this version of Gaia. So basically you can add the gateway so for that i what i meant to say is each and every uh, gaia version has a compatibility word means minimum you should be r7520 or r80.10 okay so the minimum version it can support any gateway or any devices is r75.020 okay it will not support any uh, version which is below than this and higher it will support means r 75.30 it will support it will go on till r80.10 okay so it will support these things okay so the compatibility can cause an issue while adding a device that's what i meant to say so there is a chart out there in checkpoints website and you can go and check it out where this uh, this chart shows us that what all versions can support how much and minimum version that can be added for the compatibility of that manager with the gateway okay so there is a chart you can check it out in the checkpoint website so it's not a theory class that's why i'm not discussing in it in deep there are theories behind this so okay so the next thing you have to check is okay take one time. yeah the next thing you have to check is whether you have to check the activation key of six that you gave from the manager okay so activation key from the manager mgr in the sig okay okay the, the activation key which we uh, prerequisitely uh, give it while installing a gateway while installing a gateway i gave it a activation key of admin 123 right so i gave it admin 123 and if this activation key is not matching in my uh, manager this will cause an issue basically means if the activation keys are not matching Secondly, you have to check the activation key. For that, I will show you. Let me hide this. So, let me change the activation key in front of you so that it's easier for you guys to understand. Okay, I'll make it full screen. It's actually uh, my. It's actually the sec. Uh, this device which I'm logged in into is friends. Yeah. So this device is a firewall one, which is security gateway one. Yeah. So uh, its IP is dot one one one. Okay, and I'm now going to change its password. So I will choose another color so that it's easier for you. Yeah, firstly, I have to install 
okay firstly i have to install okay for that i will be uh, firstly logging logging into it and secondly i will type cp config which will give me a lot of options so let's check that out right let's check that out and i'll be typing admin and my password is admin123 yeah yeah i am logged in and as you can see it's cpfw1 which is 501 now you have to type cp config which means checkpoint config yeah checkpoint config and then it will give you number of options that you can change you can change the licenses you can change the smb extension you can you can go and explore that thing okay but for this video we will be talking about secure internal communication okay and let me take out my pen yeah and let me clear all this okay so here it is secure internal communication which is number 5 and it's asking me enter your choice whatever you want to change so in for this video we have to choose 5 and i will type 5 okay my number of was off that's why so it's number of 5 okay let me go and come here yeah 5 54 sorry 5 bad choice okay 5 it enter because i uh, added a space that's why and the next thing it's asking me is to would you like to reinitialize this communication yes i want to reinitialize and uh, reinitialize the communication means so whichever manager it is uh, means communicating Sh uh, should uh, would you want to reinitialize that uh, establishment of trust so i will be yes yes you want to reinitialize and then are you sure you want to change the password yeah i am sure and then it will be prompting you for the for entering the new password that you will set so for this video i will set admin 12 to 12 let it be 12 admin 12 okay the next process what it will be doing is it change the password as you can see the sic was successfully initialized right and now you have to uh, is booted up means you have to restart the process for restarting you just have to exit this prompt and it will basically restart the process i will type 10 and hit enter okay again back to okay 10 because i am using the numpad and it's not working that's why okay so for some theory part let it restart all the services i will tell you some theory part of this checkpoint right okay so for sick communication sick communication from a manager to the firewall right so it uses some tcp ports so let me write it down for you guys yeah. tcp ports what are what all are the ports which are used for this uh, which are which is as following 18191 and 18192 18201 1 sorry 209 no 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 111 sorry sorry i just sometimes forget and you can check it in google okay 18210 and 18211 so these are the ports So the third thing that you want to check is for the ports that if these ports are blocked then it will cause the manager to communicate the manager an issue to communicate with the firewall okay if these ports are blocked if these ports are good you will be great you will be having a communication so basically sick communication requires these many ports and try to wrote it wrote it down because these ports we will use it later Two zero one one eight one nine one one eight one nine two one eight two zero two one zero one eight two one one. Okay, these are the ports which I use. And as you can see, the it's restarting the process and the restarting product starting not active and all 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 the things are there. And as it goes, you can read it all and you will see what all changes are happening. It's great to know the changes that are happening to our system needs to a firewall. So we are again in the prompt. and now for that i will go and jump into my windows machine and let me oh great okay as you can see okay as you can see our firewall now has a status as crossed which basically means that it has a error it's because we have changed the password and now my manager can't trust it means it it has a trust issue because the passwords are uh, different okay before that i will be doing is uh, to open the properties you have to simply double click the uh, name of the firewall and it will open the properties basically yeah the properties are up and as you can see we have uh, let me clear this thing. okay great okay so we have this firewall our name is correct and under this you can see 
the trust is established basically it's un, uh, means unestablished that's why but it's showing uh, established so what you have to do is reset it means okay you just reset the communication check whether it is working or not okay for that you will see that it will uh, it will be uh, prompting me an error and it will be showing me okay reset is done and you type the new password please okay so i'll be i will i'll be typing the new password so that it can trust it again and you can actually test the six status and uh, basically i have to click it uh, before this and this test six status will uh, convert it to un uninitialized and i didn't do it i did uh, reset sorry but you have to click on test six status and then there you can see so as you can see could not get six properties from the peer object because i have not configured any password yet so what you have to do is simply click on close and type the one time password i will be typing admin 12 and i will be typing admin 12 and let's initialize initialize the communication let the communication begin and let me write that password down here so that i don't forget it yeah so it's initializing and it will change the initialize status also and now 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 you can see that trust is established from where did i see i saw it from here okay and now if you click on test six status yeah it's showing it's communicating it's started to communicate the device it's great right so we'll close this device and i will click on okay i have a connectivity right but these changes are not safe basically you have to save this and it's actually getting the topology information because previously when uh, when it's unestablished it doesn't have its uh, interfaces ip and all so if uh, now it's initialized and it's showing oh it has a ethernet 1 and its ip is this it has a ethernet 0 and its ip is this one okay so and it doesn't have any ipv6 ip address for that interface basically you have to close it because it will fetch it because you you are now trusted network okay so i will go and click on okay and little bit uh, it's little bit uh, down so you can hide the taskbar i will click on it okay Works. Uh, else, I will hide the taskbar. Yeah. Are you sure you want to continue? Okay. Yes, I want. To. And it will basically now the uh, tick will come up until I will publish it. So I will show you. So we have made some changes. And each and every time you make some changes, you have to publish it. Okay. And as you can see, yeah. Uh, I will show you. There are three sessions. There are three changes which are not published yet. And okay. So. i will do one thing i will go and simply click on publish and then it will be prompting me a, a, a window it will be saying me uh, the session for this i will be saving this session name and the description will be three changes published by admin user on this day so you can change it whatever you want okay so i will click on publish and it will start to publish the changes publishing it will only take a moment so after publish this sign will change to so for any changes i will suggest you to to install the policy and to install the policy let go yeah to install the policy you have option here so okay it's not communicating let's see yeah i was scared because the tick didn't give because the tick should come because we published all the changes and now you can see that we don't have any session or we don't have any changes right it's a trusted ca okay we have a thing and our uh, open server is cpu say is 27 and my manager is using oh my god it's using 81% of the cpu okay so what you have to do it will decrease gradually okay so what you have to do is now install the policy changes whatever the policy is. so basically i do this because it's safe and if you install the policy we didn't install the policy but we try to change the sick that's why i'm installing the policy again if any changes come so it's a best practice that you install the policy again okay so you have to basically install the policies again it's a best practice because these install policy means it will the changes will occur again if by the mean time anything happens to a firewall it's a best practice but in this case if you are only changing the password you don't need it but in best practice you have to every time install the policy so three changes from session 1 it's by admin and you have to install the policy okay so i will click on install policy and then as you can see i hit on click on policy and then it will install the policy and uh, and as you can see 
we have from and it's like zero percent uh, policy installed and it will go in background it will be going like this uh, it will be going right here and if i click on this and i'll be seeing and let it complete okay so let it complete it will take some time so for that time uh, okay 20 percent is it for that time i will pause this video so let it complete i will tell you something so let it complete let me give you some theory part because it's a free time right okay so the theory that i want to give is the it's very simple that you if you want to change you can change it by the same means it's not about resetting the password okay so and one more thing the order should be correct first you have to go to our manager means go to our gateway and then you will reinitialize the process in the uh, smart console or manager every, anything you use okay okay so then you have to initialize it it's installing i'm waiting for it to complete and let the, let i let it complete so that i can close this video but before that so you have to uh, so let me recap this video you have to type go into the gateway and type cp config and choose the sick option which is maybe 5 in rad.10 and then why a couple of whys and then enter the new password then come to smart console and this is the last option in troubleshooting if your security firewall is not communicated okay so the first first one was what the first one was basically the first one was to check the compatibility okay i will like home okay second was first to check the activation key third one was to check the tcp ports and fourth one is to activation key in manager okay. mgr okay great and the fourth one is you have no option you have to make it reset and to reset you have to first go to the gateway and then reset it and come back here and reset it from here okay so let it complete okay so leave it it will complete and the uh, installation will be completed and let me click okay we can see the details too what are the changes happening so there's a small tweak okay so these are the changes okay and it showed me anti-spoofing is not configured i will configure it later i don't know okay so the installation is about to complete and let's see it's complete yeah so uh, that's it for this video i'll be seeing you in the next video i'll be covering more topics it's very easy okay so hope you guys enjoyed it bye bye